In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create custom digital notebooks for GoodNotes in Canva. It's a super straightforward tutorial and at the end of it, you're going to be able to have some great templates for your notes. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do once we've opened up Canva is we need to go and search into the search bar US letter. Now, if it doesn't show up there like it didn't for me, you can also go to the creator design bit and you can search up there. Now, the one you're looking for is document US letter portrait and it's 8.5 by 11 inches. So we're going to click on that and this is going to open up this file here. And down the side here to start off with, you're going to see a ton of different templates, but you can either start with blank or you can go for the templates. But I'll show you a bit more about how to get better templates. I'd recommend going into the search bar here and typing in notebook. Hit enter. And here we're going to be shown a ton of different options for notebooks. Now, the choice here is really yours. You can pick which one you like, you know, depending on your needs, all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and select one you want. And just to warn you, if it has this little icon here, this little crown sort of icon, and it says pro, this means you're going to have to pay for this design, which means it's not free. So I'd recommend staying away from those unless you want to pay. So go ahead, find one that you like. I like this one. It's quite cool. And this is now going to be the cover of my notebook. So at this point, it's really up to you if you want to customize even more. Maybe you've seen another design down here that you like better. So maybe you like this more. It's really up to you. So I'm going to just undo that. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to actually change the font here to this font here. Remember, make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to, I could change the color of the title. I could put the my name here if I wanted to. I could change these objects here. It's really up to you. Now, one thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to add a binder element. So I'm going to type in binder. And obviously a lot of these ones are paid here. So let's see if we can find a bind. Is this a, if we could try that maybe. Mm, doesn't really fit the style. Uh, I don't think there's any binders which are free here. Okay, so maybe we'll go about using a binder for now then. But that's fine. We, we don't have to have that. Now, if we wanted to add some kind of design on the background, so let's say we wanted a floral design or floral background, we could go ahead and find that. Again, a lot of these are paid, but let's say we like this one we can go ahead and add this if we wanted to so I do as I go ahead add it like this I'd right click it I would go to layer center back and then I would probably turn the opacity right the way down so the transparency all the way down so that you can see it a tiny bit but it's not like um, inter inter interfering too much with what you you know what you want okay so once you're happy with the front cover of it, you know, you can go really crazy. You can spend ages designing this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click add page. So at this point, you have to kind of decide what you want inside of your notebook. I think the best way to start off is with some just normal lined paper. So lined paper. Um, maybe we can go for something like this. make it full size so we could have this as one of our pages just a line paper like this and then we could add another page and the next page could be um, maths paper maybe Let's see if we've got any free ones so this is actually a free one here we go ahead and copy and paste these I'll make it bigger so it goes to the edge here There we go. So this one will be like a maths paper template. Now add another page here. And maybe this one we could say like a journal. Um, I think for a journal one, you might have to customize it a little bit. So you might have to put like a calendar. Mm, calendar 
yeah, there must be like a little calendar thing here. So we could probably put this here. You could maybe write the date on here. You could probably have some boxes. Check boxes. Um, maybe we could have these as like the check boxes. Add those here. Those look quite cool. And then we could add some lines down here for writing. We can add them next to each other like that. Boom. So basically you want to go ahead and create a few different pages for the different types of pages that you're going to want to have on your notepad basically. Now once you're happy with it, you've gone ahead and you're happy with it, we're going to publish it. Okay, and just one more note before we actually go ahead and publish it. Whichever page you think you're going to use the most, you actually want to go ahead and duplicate it. So you can click this little duplicate button here and you can basically just like spam click it and that's going to basically create a ton of different pages. So you you know, you can create as many pages in here as you want to. So this here has got a ton of pages now. And we can go ahead to the top and click on share. Then we can go down to the more section. And there's a few things you can do here. If you want to automatically um, send it to some kind of notepad software that isn't good notes, you can do that. Alternatively, I would just say go ahead and just save it. So we'd go to download. And we want to save it as a PDF standard. And we want to select the page we want. So I'm just going to select all pages there. Then we're going to hit download and it should download it. Now there might be an error with downloading it if you've used any paid content. So you can see here I have my template ready to go. All the pages are here. I'm just viewing it. And if we scroll to the bottom, we just say, see the other types of pages we've created. Cool. From there, what you want to do is you want to send it to yourself for your iPad. So you can send it on WhatsApp, you can send it on email. You know, there's a ton of different ways to send it to yourself, but just go ahead and send it to yourself. And from there, what we can then do is we can go and open it up in the GoodNotes app. And it should open just like any other note software will. And the good thing about it is you can see here, we've got, we can select the words here and it's a, it's a PDF which can be edited and it's not just an image to be written over, which is definitely useful. So that's how to do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.